Good morning. It's a win. It's a win. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Is it or is it Tuesday? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> yes. Good morning. Let me get some jacket. It's cold in this room. Some of these rooms back here are not. Um, most of them are warm, but this is a pretty cool room. Cool as in temperature cool. But anyway, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers, my new family members. Oh my gosh, you guys are ex part of an extended family group that is so, so cool, so much fun. You will really enjoy us. I'm so sorry I forgot to go live last night. Um, yes, so it's Wednesday. I just, I just, that light bulb moment just went off. Like, did y'all see my face? Like, I honestly really just remembered live last for Tuesday. Um, sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, but to the new um, family members, we usually go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I get my days mixed up. Sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes I forget. But turn the notification bell on just in case. Yeah, and when I am on a regular schedule, you don't miss it. So thank you to all of you. I looked at my comments and I'm like, I'm seeing all everybody people going to school people starting school oh my gosh you guys are gonna have so much fun the only thing i can say is just go in with an open mind and just go in and look at it like it's it's just fun don't pay anybody any attention in these classes just be you and just relax and just make it fun i think we tend to forget to just walk into a place every day and look at it like it's new like when you're tired of work you got to really walk into some places like, okay, like I'm going to pretend it's my very first day. So even if you have a bad first day on your in your class, go in the next day like, wait, this is my very first day. It's a mind thing. I had to do it a few years ago to um, work with some folks I had to work with every night. And that's how I got through it. But anyway, I'm not going to ramble too much. Um, wanted to go over this technique. <clears throat> in one of the videos, I said in and up or... I forget how I titled the video, but someone was asking me, what do you mean? Do you mean in? What do you mean? So I want to clarify that. And I was um, also saying with, uh, for those of you who are, you know, going to class, just congratulations and congratulations to those of you who have finished as well. And thank you for thanking me for these videos. That's what I saw. A lot of thank yous for, um, for the videos that I put up. So Yes, thanks. I want to talk about the safety device on this, um, the butterfly, because someone was like, oh my gosh, you clicked that while it was still in the vein. I hope you're not licensed. No, I hope you're not licensed if you're not really using the safety device. That's what the safety device is for. You don't remove the needle and then retract it. Although it's less painful, safety is our priority here. I mean, you've already stuck the patient, so hence there's pain strike number one. But, you know, I'm not going to get all into that. But I do want to show you several methods that you can do um, to be safe with your, um, your, your needles, especially the butterfly. You know, the straight needle comes out, you flip, and you're done. With the, with the butterfly needle, and, you know, it's going to depend on your patients, not your license. Um, I don't know what type of clinic you work in, but whatever. So you re when you stick, this is your little device, you know, the... Um, there's a little black mark right here. It's very light and it's very sensitive at times. So when the needle is in the vein, you're just gonna go where we've been going all week. We've got a flash. Once you get your flash, you can stop. I know you guys, you guys know that. So once the needle is in the vein, since we're in it, we're gonna go ahead and draw this gold top. Someone was asking about OBGYNs as well. I know OBGYNs draw a lot of golds and or a lot of red tops. So let's say we got that, right? We got our blood. So this is how I remove the butterfly needle. I place a gauze over the site and I pull the needle out and then I hit the, um, the device, the retractor device. Okay, so you can do this and click it while it's in the vein, but place a a gauze over the site so it doesn't splatter or you can move it down a little further and when you move when you remove it have the patient place their hand there for the bleeding of course and then once you bring it out 
before you expose it. It's out of the vein at this point. Oh, my son. Sorry, I can't see it. It's out of the vein at this point. So in order to not injure yourself, go ahead and retract and see how it was still under. I hope you guys could see that. It was still under the actual gauze. So there are ways and things that you can do. And, um you know to be safe but always use the def use the safety device whether it's in or out some patients will say it hurt um, some people pull it out like that so you know you're gonna have to as long as you use it that's key um, I kind of got kind of yeah bothering me first thing this morning don't, don't do that anyway <laughs> just wanted to go over that real quick because I believe sometimes people are confused as to how to use them I don't think um, I do believe and know that you are supposed to use it to so that it will retract out of the vein or you pull it out and then you retract it. So I do both sometimes, but I just use the gauze to prevent the, the splatter and sometimes you don't you can't really even tell. So let me know what what's what's protocol for you or what have you heard as far as the butterfly needle and the safety device in the vein retract or pull it slightly out of the vein and retract which one do you use I pull it out and then I retract so let me know what you do and um, on that video I think it was in the vein and I did it but yeah the patient I was working with was a tough guy so anyway um, let me know what you think thumbs up share like <laughs> comment and um, I will see you guys later this afternoon or I will see you guys in the morning Thank you, thank you, thank you. See y'all later.